Welcome to English 3, Quarter 1, Week 2. Tell me more about the story character. At the end of this module or lesson, you are expected to First, read simple sentences and leveled stories and note details regarding the character. Now, I want you to look at your classmates or look at the people around you. Whether it's your mother, it's your father, it's your sister or brother, look at them and then you describe them. You describe their characteristics, their height, their skin color, the shape of their eyes, or even their attitude. Okay, and now, let us recall our past lesson. Those are simple sentence and compound sentence. Again, a simple sentence has only one independent clause that has a subject and a predicate. Example, Alin Deeding had two flowers in her garden. On the other hand, compound sentence is made up of two simple sentences combined together by a connector. For example, Aling Deeding had two flowers in her garden and she takes good care of them. Now, I want you to close your eyes for about 10 seconds. Go! Time's up. How does it feel? How does it feel to close your eyes for 10 seconds and you can't see anything? Mm -hmm. Now kids, have you seen a carabao? How about a blind carabao. Today, we are going to listen to the story of the blind black carabao. Once upon a time, there was a blind black carabao who lived in a rice field. His friends were a healthy cat, a rich dog and a selfish goat. One day, the blind black carabao found a sack of rice. He had an idea of saving it. He then asked his friends, Who will help me pick the sack? Not me, purred the healthy cat. Oh no, not me barked the rich dog. Not even me, shouted the selfish goat. Then I will, said the blind black carabao. So he carried the sack of rice by himself. When the storm came to their place, the blind black carabao asked his friends, Who will help me carry the sack? Nobody answered him. A healthy cat returned to her chair. A rich dog hid in his house. And a selfish goat ran in a distant place. Then I will, said the blind black carabao. So he carried the sack of rice by himself. When the storm ends, all of them were very hungry. 
The tired blind black carabao called and asked his friends again, Who will help me eat the rice? I will, purred the cat. I will, ow, ow, barked the rich dog. I will, me me, said the selfish goat. No, I will, said the blind black carabao. Then he began to eat the rice. His friends were swallowing their saliva while looking at him eating the rice. He felt pity, so he shared his food with them. Thank you, Carabao. Even though you are blind, you are so hardworking and generous, said his friends. Without you, we will all die with hunger, barked the rich dog. That is why you are the favorite animal of the Filipinos, said the selfish goat. Next time, let us help Carabao to find some food in order for us to live, said the healthy cat. I know you can also do it, so let us help one another, said the Carabao. The following week, a healthy cat found some fruit seeds. They all volunteered to plant. When days passed fast, they happily harvested and shared the bounties of their harvests. All right. What did he want to do with a sack of rice? What did the caraba want to do with a sack of rice? Which animals did he ask to help him pick and carry the sack of rice? Let's name them. What did each animal say? What did the blind black carabao feel? If you were to choose among the characters in the story, who would you like to be? Why? So today, let us talk about characters. Characters are people or animals in a story. The character who is the focus of the story is called the main character. The characters are the actors in the story. Who are the characters in the story the blind black carabao? Let's name them. The blind black carabao. The healthy cat. The rich dog. And the selfish goat for us to understand more about the character and attitude we need to know the details in the story noting details so noting details is a comprehension skill that involves choosing out a text from the story read it is a piece of information like text or picture to fully understand the story so how do we note details regarding character? First, always read the story with full understanding and internalize the texts. Then, jot down notes or highlight texts. Alright, so from the story we have read last week about Rose and Sampaguita, in the pink circle, here in this part, can you write all the characteristics of Rose, one of the characters in the story? And then on this side, in the violet circle, can you write all the characteristics of Sampagita, the other character in the story? And then here in the middle, can we write the, their similarities? The similarities of Rose and Sampagita here inside. How will you identify the characters in the story? We can identify that they are the characters if 
They are the actors in the story. What do you call on the character who is the focus in the story? We call them We call them the main character. How will you write the details on the character in the story? First, always read the story with full understanding and internalize the text. Then, jot down notes or highlight texts. Very good. Now, let's read this all together. Mike has a kite and a bike. He rides on his bike to the playground. He flies his kite. One day, the kite fell on the playground. Mike was sad. He had no more kite. Who is the character in the story? Why is he sad? If you have the chance to write an ending of the story, what would you like to write? Why? Okay, so you think about the characters in the story, the blind black carabao, and then you choose one of the main characters to describe in detail. So here, you put the character the um, you choose only one whether it's the carabao it's the cat the dog or the goat and then how would you describe the character how does this character affect in the story why is this character important in the story and then for your assignment write the name of your family members and their characteristics in the table so in this column you put the names of your family members and in this column, you write their characteristics. Alright, so that's it for today. Thank you for listening and have a good day. God bless and keep safe everyone.